Welcome back to another Technic Forest Learning. Today, we're going to learn a new course entitled The Complete Guide to Twitter. First up is how to create a new Twitter profile. You can actually set up a profile in just a couple minutes, and that doesn't mean that you should. If you are using Twitter for business, you need to invest some time making a perfect profile that entices visitors to become your followers. Let's start with Twitter header photo. Your header photo is the biggest piece of visual real estate on your Twitter profile page. Take advantage of that space with a creative and attractive design. Twitter recommends you make the header 1500 by 500 pixels, but there's a catch. These images are responsive, meaning they change with the resolution and screen size of the device it's being viewed on. There will be cropping on top and the bottom of the image, so you need to account for that. Also, remember that the profile pic overlaps the header photo and it moves with the responsive design. Think of your Twitter header photo as the headline of your profile page. It's the first thing most people will see when they land on your page. But they won't be looking long, so treat your header photo like a billboard on the highway. People will be flying by it at 70 miles per hour and you only have a few seconds to get your message across. Your Twitter profile pic also matters. After all, it's the visual representation of you on Twitter so make it count. You want people to recognize you and have happy thoughts when you show up in their timeline. If you do use a logo, keep in mind that you'll upload a square photo but it will be a circle on Twitter. If you have a square logo with words, they're often cropped out. Pick a profile pic and stick with it. Most people follow hundreds or more accounts on Twitter and over time they'll become familiar with your avatar. It's part of your personal brand. You wouldn't change your business logo every week, would you? Next up is your Twitter bio. It's a mistake to think that because it's only 160 characters, it should be quick and easy to write a great bio. Quite the opposite, in fact. Because of that limitation, you must be creative to fit in all the info you want and have some personality shine through. But there's another factor to consider when crafting your Twitter bio. The search engine optimization. Twitter has its own search engine and the words and phrases in your bio should be keyword rich. Think about what people may be searching on Twitter and what you want to be found for. Then make sure you include those words or phrases in your bio. For instance, if you search social media marketing, the default result includes accounts to follow at the top and in the sidebar. This is how a lot of people find accounts to follow, so make sure to include these words in your bio to get discovered more. One element that people don't always think of as a part of their bio, but they absolutely should, is a pinned tweet. You can pick any of your tweets to stay pinned to the top of your profile page so that it's the first one that everyone sees. First. Find the tweet you want to pin to the top in your timeline, then click the down arrow in the top left of the tweet. Click the pin button and you're done. Seriously, it's that simple. When you're active on Twitter, you'll get a lot of people to visit to your page, so it's a powerful having a great pinned tweet. The last part of your Twitter profile is the color scheme, which you can change in your Twitter settings. Here's how. First, click the Edit Profile button on your Twitter profile page. Next, look under your profile pic and there will be options to choose a new color or even add the hex code for any color that you like. A lot of people choose to adjust this reflect to their brand colors. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into creating the perfect Twitter profile page to maximize your success on the platform. By employing these tips and strategies for your header, profile picture, bio, and pinned tweet, you'll get more eyes on your profile and more followers from the people that land there. Remember, all of these elements work together to create an experience for profile page visitors. These are opportunities you don't want to squander. Now let's talk about the importance of following the right people on Twitter. You can follow anyone on Twitter, but not randomly or according to an automated scheme. You should follow the intent 
and with relevance. The people you follow should be in line with the niche you are promoting or you are into. People can tell if your plan is just to follow them and wait for them to follow you back before unfollowing them again. They don't like it. I mean, who would? Follow the people that you legitimately want to follow. If they're impressed with your content, you'll gain a new follower when they follow you back. You should also find your competitors on Twitter and follow them to know what they are sharing and what people are saying about them. Gathering the data from their profile can help you build up your own Twitter account. Twitter has strict rules about what they call aggressive following and aggressive following churn, so be careful and take it slow. You don't want to get your account suspended in your first week because of suspicious activity. So, follow your customers, your business partners, suppliers, contractors and vendors, trade organizations or professional organizations for your industry, businesses in your neighborhood, businesses run by people you know, and here are a few influencers in marketing to follow according to Bobby Stemper from Ad Hoc Blog. At Larry Kim Larry Kim provides deep insights and thought-provoking content through lead stories, digital marketing trends, and pleasant infographics. Larry's feed hosts a perfect balance of self-authored content, important up-to-date digital trends, and personal snapshot of his life now as a CEO at Mobile Monkey, as a family man, and as an overall marketing guru. At Sonia Simone to stay up on how women are absolutely crushing it in the digital marketing realm, check out at Sonia Simone. She's original, impassioned, and a little snarky at times, in the best 140 characters way. As a leader of copy blogger, Simone helps create podcasts, copywriting guides, SEO walkthroughs, and full-fledged marketing services. At Rhea to add a little SEO focus flair to your marketing feed, check out Rhea Drysdale. If she's not promoting her own pro tips from outspoken media, Rhea freely shares some of the best content around on Twitter. Many of the top marketing influencers are content focused, but Rhea tells it like it is in the SEO world, helping you avoid some cliches and major mistakes for your business. At J Bear. Bear is a New York Times best-selling author of five books, founded five multi-million dollar firms, and won plenty of awards for the Social Pros podcast. It's safe to say he's a seasoned marketer. He's also an incredible keynote speaker, delivering tons of entertaining and hard-hitting speeches about everything from building customer experiences to content marketing. And lastly, at Jeff Bullis. Want to know how to optimize your Facebook ads and learn how to be a more productive marketer? Then follow Jeff Bullis, the Vsauce of marketing. He's the king when it comes to quick, easy to read, and actionable content that'll sharpen your marketing noggin. Charlene Kingston from Social Media Examiner said that Talking on Twitter is different from every other social media site. It's hectic, but it's also fun. Give yourself a little time to get your feet wet. Listen to others. Jump in when you feel comfortable and start talking as you get your bearings. Tweet is a message you send out to everyone who follows you. This is the heart of Twitter communication. Give people useful information and answer their questions, and they will consider you a valuable member of their community. That's an important first step to winning a new customer. There's a real art to writing a headline-style message on Twitter. Experiment with different ways to say the same thing and see what gets the most response. With only 280 characters, it's important that every word pull its weight in your messages. Over time, the quality of what you share will help you grow a strong Twitter following. Now you're ready to take a step back and come up with a Twitter communication plan.
Your plan focuses your Twitter conversation on topics designed to draw in potential customers and publish your tweets at the times you are most likely to engage people. People loves to look at picture, so include photographs in your tweets whenever possible. You do not have to be a professional photographer or a fancy camera, all you need is a smartphone. Get into the habit of taking photos of your business activities that you can share with your Twitter community. Twitter integrates into your smartphone's camera roll. This allows you to easily share photos you have taken with your Twitter followers. Twitter adds photo to your tweet and makes it available for everyone to see. Twitter adds every photo you share to a photo and video gallery. The first six appear on your profile page. Take advantage of this feature to share pictures that tell your business story. Video is another powerful way to tell people about your business. You can add videos to your Twitter timeline. Hashtags. According to Andrew Hutchinson, these are synonymous with Twitter, so it's worth doing your research to understand how they're being used and which are the most likely aligned with your products and services. You can use a tool like Hashtagify to identify hashtag most closely related to your target words and those used in relation to them. Do not overdo it. Research shows that tweets with more than two hashtags actually see a drop in engagement. So when used correctly, hashtags can be an effective way to grow your reach, encourage engagement, and get discovered on Twitter. With this in mind, here are some key tips to consider before you tweet. Tips from Ali Herzog Make it easy to remember and easy to spell. Don't leave room for possible typos, which will make your tweet undiscoverable. Be realistic. Do not expect people to start using your brand slogan or other one-sided hashtags in their tweet if it doesn't fit naturally and there's no incentive for them to do so. Do your research. Check and see what hashtags people are already using when talking about your brand and capitalize on those. Also, make sure to check if your desired hashtag is already being used. If so, ask yourself if it's still relevant to your brand. Give people a reason to use your hashtag. Whether it's an actual prize or just recognition in the form of a retweet, your audience will respond better when it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Partner with influencers. They are there to help gain exposure and visibility for your hashtag. Remember not to over hashtag. One to two relevant hashtags per tweet is the sweet spot. Also remember, character count matters. Expect your brand slogan to translate to a hashtag. A hashtag is meant to be inclusive, shareable, and discoverable. If it doesn't organically fit within a tweet, it'll feel forced and lose its intended purpose. Expect people to use your hashtag without a reason or incentive. The best hashtag have the ability to draw people in and invoke curiosity to explore and join in on the conversation. Neglect to educate on what it is and how to use it. Make sure you're clearly communicating the hashtag and more importantly, why someone would want to include it in their own tweet. Lastly, do not use all caps. Unless it's an acronym, this feels like shouting and also adds unnecessary work. Building customer loyalty begins with building genuine connections with the people who interact with your brand. Besides face-to-face -face assistance in a physical store, there are a few ways customers can personally connect with the brands. An effective direct message strategy can bridge that gap and help you connect with customers on an individual basis by answering their specific questions and addressing their unique needs. Here are a few things to keep in mind when building your direct message strategy according to Camilla Dudley. Make sure your setting allow you to receive direct messages from anybody including people you don't follow or people who don't follow you. You'll be able to reach a larger audience, 
including prospective customers. Having a message button on your profile not only tells your audience you're interested in having a conversation, it'll make it easier for the conversation to begin. You can set up a welcome message so you can greet customers without forcing them to send the first message. Make it positive, helpful, and relevant. You can also set up quick replies to help guide customers with the best way to respond. That way, you can help people find solutions even faster. When you decide to incorporate direct message in your strategy, make sure to check your inbox regularly. Customers are likely using a direct message because they're looking for a quick response. Again, setting up an automatic greeting message and quick replies can help solve problems fast. When crafted well, welcome messages are an easy way to offer more personalized interaction with your brand. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.